And this match one fall with a 30 minute time limit introducing first at a combined weight of 470 pounds making their Southern States Wrestling debut from Washington, D.C., the Washington Bullets. Should be a tremendous tag team matchup here. Is uh, we've got a couple of guys debuting here in Southern States Wrestling, some new faces, which is always good to see. As you've got the Washington Bullets on the right hand side in the uh, in the blue, red, white, and blue trunks, and then you've got Vince Valor and Ian Cross on the left side. That is Valor in the ring and Ian Cross on the left side of your screen right now as uh, Valor now into the ropes there and hard shoulder block there by Valor and that sends his opponent scurrying into the corner the Washington Bullets on the right hand side of your screen tremendous tag team combination brothers they are brothers and um, a tremendous tag team we've heard a lot of great things about them as uh, they're now made their way here into Southern States Wrestling. We've got a collar and elbow tie up once again. Vince Valor coming to us from the great state of New York. Nice side headlock takeover there. As Valor has things under control for the time being. He's got his man in a side headlock position now. The bullet into the hair and comes across. Valor caught his man right there. Nice shoulder block once again as the Washington Bullets here having to regroup a little bit at this point in time in the contest. Fans, we're glad you're tuned in, turned on, and checking out Southern States Wrestling, no matter how or where you may be joining us all across this great world of ours. Whether you're watching us live on broadcast television or through the power of social media, through Facebook and on the World Wide Web, as Valor right there, Vince Valor, Caught the Washington Bullet coming in. Got him a beautiful arm drag takeover there. And he's got his man grounded. As Valor now has made that tag to Ian Cross. As Cross now winding up on that arm. As... He's got him now, they're jockeying for position. As John right there, going through a series of maneuvers there, trying to create separation, but unsuccessfully, as Ian Cross has got him down on the canvas at this point in time. As he's rolling up here, creating momentum. Unique, uh, unique maneuver in here. Brought himself up. Nice kip up there. A hard shot. Makes the tag here. As Ian Cross snatched this man right there with a beautiful arm drag takeover. As Cross has him in control. Ian Cross and Vince Valor making their debuts as well as the Washington Bullets in this tag team contest here with Southern States Wrestling fans as Cross has got him arm bar position now. They're back over to the corner. Tag's been made as Valor comes in, catches this man with a hard boot right there. Vince Valor now, side, push to the left sweep. Took his man down hard and got only a one count out of that one. Tags made again on the team of Valor and Cross. As he and Cross now continues mounting his assault here. As the Williams brothers 
that constitute the Washington Bullets are in trouble here in their opening moments of their debut. And Cross, Ian Cross just got whipped in that buckle really hard. Oh, and he caught him right there. Big forearm coming across. And I mean, he caught him hard with that forearm. Full momentum. Cross now. Comes across here. And oh, he caught him right there. Outside the ring, and oh, drilled him in the midsection there with that knee. As the Washington Bullets are definitely in control here. John and Trey Williams, the Washington Bullets. And they are feeling good and strutting their stuff right now here in Southern States Wrestling as they are making their debut match as uh, Ian Cross is definitely in trouble at the moment. Big clubbing back elbow there. It's recover and got a two count only out of that one. Tremendous action as always here with Southern States Wrestling fans. Back at the Farmer's Market in Kingsport, Tennessee. You don't want to miss it as, oh wow, what a vertical. As the Washington Bullets here taking care of business in for a cover and got a two count only on that one. John and Trey Williams, the Washington Bullets, making their debut here in Southern States Wrestling and uh, working tremendously well. Brother tag team combination here. They've made the exchange. Oh, hard chop right there. And now, oh, yeah, we made sure we heard that one all ringing through the farmer's market here in Kingsport. As the Washington Bullets are in control, at least they were. Ian Cross now made the tag right there. And here comes Vince Fowler, full head of steam. Vince Fowler well rested on the ringside. And he's got the Washington Bullets rocking and rolling here. He's got him in trouble. And Baller dropped his man right there. Nicely executed belly to box suplex. As Vince Baller, tremendous competitor coming to us from the state of New York, has got the Washington Bullet in trouble here. Brings his man across. Hip toss swallows it in. As we truly have a, uh, a national match here with the Washington Bullets from one side of the country. Vince Valor here from New York and all other side. Oh, and Ian Cross right there coming from downtown with that splash off the top rope. But the Williams brothers, the Washington Bullets now, trying to turn this match around. They've got Cross in the ring by himself. He's fighting for his life in there. Oh, my. They caught him with a kick and a punch right there all at once, and this could do it, but no. Ian Cross kicks out of that. What a tremendous shot he took. Two of them repeatedly back to back right there. The Washington Bullets, oh man, hard forearm blow. Ian Cross just took a little baseball slide right out of the ring. Here comes Fowler. Round and round they go. Oh, backbreaker maneuver there. This could do it here, the Washington Bullets. There you have it. The Washington Bullets have made a very impressive debut here in Southern and States Wrestling. Tim Young, and this is my marketing firm. We represent clients all over the globe. And like the king of king sport, I'm the king of marketing. So if you need anything, web design, social media, commercials, advertising, creative, jingles, I'll write a jingle right now to show you how good I am. It'll be in the next commercial. 
Tim Young's unnamed marketing firm. You need us. Calvary Baptist Church, 1238 Pine Street, Kingsport, Tennessee. Regular schedule of services, Sunday, 9.15 a.m. for Bible study fellowship class for all ages. 10.30 a.m. worship. 6 p.m. blast for children, wake for youth. Sunday night life for adults. Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. children and youth activities. 3D Bible study for adults. If you are part of a nonprofit organization, listen to this. You now have the opportunity to bring the wrestling TV stars to your town and make money for your group. Over the past two decades, Southern States Wrestling has helped raise money for church groups, schools, ball teams, volunteer fire departments, children's hospitals, Ronald McDonald House, scout troops, and many more. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and get started on what could be your biggest fundraiser to date. Southern States Wrestling and your group are the perfect tag team to raise the funds you need. Hello everyone, this is your friend Misty James, and I'm inviting you to come out Tuesday, December 23rd at the Farmer's Market in Kingsport, Tennessee to celebrate my birthday and Southern States Wrestling Christmas Star Wars. Please bring a canned food item for the local food banks. That's Tuesday night, December 23rd, bell time 7.30 in a well-heated Farmer's Market. And I will see you ringside. Standing here with heavyweight champion DeAndre Jackson. DeAndre, it was signed for the Thanksgiving extravaganza. Mother Nature intervened with a large blizzard in the state of Virginia. Frank Parker wasn't able to make it on Thanksgiving. But the match has been re-signed. Christmas Star Wars, you and Frank Parker, heavyweight championship on the line. DeAndre, he's one big bad dude, but you are too. Okay. I changed my Christmas wish list since the last time, okay? I don't want the car. Um, I would rather have a boat. But also, that victory over Frank the Tank Parker. You see, this man, four times pinned in his career here in SSW. This belt, he held and ran through everybody like the tank he is. Great respect for this man right here. But guess what? You are now facing a more mature, more wiser, and more smarter guy here in SSW. The man of a thousand and four monikers, DeAndre Jackson. I plan to give it my all that night. I plan to be fighting for the people of Tennessee because this title represents the people of Tennessee and the southern states. And when you represent everybody over the southern states, you're something like a people's champ. So I got to be the people's champ for everybody that's watching me. For little Johnny who wrote me a happy Thanksgiving card in the mail. It was real cute. It had glitter. For little Susie down in Greenville, she said, well wishes. And you know, I got to fight for them. I cannot let these people down. I cannot let the children down because on that night, I'm hoping that Santa delivers like he always has because I've been a good boy. Have you been a good boy? Uh, I doubt that. But anyway... I'm hoping that Santa delivers a victory for me and I get to keep holding this precious title that many guys have held in the past, like the late, great Brad Bratton and Frank the Tate Parker. And if you didn't know, now you know. Fans don't miss it. Farmer's Market, Kingsport, Tennessee. Be there. It's a street fight. You're not going to see many arm bars in this one, folks. Oh, caught him again. Thumb right to the throat. Street fight titles on the line as we've got Crunch of the Death Riders taking on Jake Booth. Crunch now has Jake choking him across that second rope on the far side of the screen. Jake now being brought back up. Oh, he blocked that one. Fires in one of his own. He dropped Crunch with that one shot. So you know it was a hard one. Jake now grabs that leg and now going to work on that leg of Crunch. Focus on that vertical base. Take the man off his feet, and that's what he's doing here as he's got Crunch in trouble at this point in time. Fans, we want to remind you, the Kingsport Farmer's Market, right down near downtown Kingsport, the Farmer's Market. We will be there for Christmas Star Wars. You don't want to miss it at the Farmer's Market on Christmas. It's going to be a tremendous event. Jake staying focused on that leg here. Street fight title on the line. Crunch is your current champion. And Jake Booth bending, twisting, and tearing at that knee, trying to take that title away. 
Ah, Crunch made it to the ropes, but Jake pulled him right back out to the center of the ring where he can do the most damage. Jake staying focused on that leg. And that's a great strategy to employ, especially with a veteran like Crunch. He's had knee issues over the years. Take the man off his feet. Because he's dangerous when he's on him. He just caught Jake right there coming in. Crunch now dumping Jake outside the ring. Oh yeah, here we go. No surprise here, street fight environment. Anything goes. Hard shot right there by Jake. As they're moving around here in the, oh! Jake just got face first. He took that ring post right there. And that is hard, unforgiving steal. Now he brings him back into the ring. Jake though, back on his feet. Caught Crunch there with that shot. Caught him a little low, but he caught him. Follows it up with a back elbow. And for a cover, and got a two count on that one. Jake's going right back and focus on that leg. I could hear Crunch moments ago screaming, my knee, my knee. As Crunch has had knee issues over the years, no question about that, it's been well documented. And Jake knows this, so he is focused on that leg right now. Jake, oh! Crunch was able to get around there and kick him off. Brings him back up and Crunch now dropped that elbow and all of his body weight right across the knee of Jake Booth right there. It's Crunch now focusing on the leg. Very good strategy, of course, on Crunch's part as well. Get Jake off his feet. Get him in trouble if he can at all. Crunch now. He's got Jake dragging him out of the center of the ring. Ah, he's pulling that knee brace off. He's going to try to rip at that knee of Jake Booth's as well. Street fight title along the line here. As Crunch just wrenching on that knee. As Jake now, yeah, he got him right there. Jake's now back to his feet. He's not sure on that knee. He's tentatively, he's real tentative trying to put weight on it. And Crunch goes right back after him. That moment of hesitation, that's all it took. Crunch right back now, just standing right on his leg, right on the back of his knee. Crunch now bringing Jake back up, vertical base. Sends him across far side, caught him right there. Big clothesline. That's Crunch now, in for a cover. Got a two count only on that one. Crunch now in a reverse chin lock position as he's got Jake in trouble. Street fight title on the line here. I'm gonna remind you again, don't forget Chris Star Wars right back at the Kingsport Farmers Market. It's gonna be a huge event, folks. You don't wanna miss it. Kingsport Farmers Market, you make sure you're there. It's gonna be a great night of wrestling action as always here with Southern States Wrestling. Crunch is clamping down. He's got that trapezius nerve hole on Jake. And that causes a tremendous amount of pain throughout the entire neck, shoulder, and even arm. As you see Jake flexing and moving his hands, trying to keep the blood, trying to keep the circulation going. Jake with a couple of elbows here. Hits the ropes, comes across, and Crunch caught him coming in. Caught him coming in with that knee right to the midsection. Now Crunch moves around and drops all of his weight right across the knee and leg of Jake Booth. That's the kind of thing right there that a tear a knee right out real fast, all of that weight coming down. And for a cover, to count only on that. Street fight title on the line here. Crunch, your current reigning champion, taking on Jake Booth. As, oh, Jake blocked him right there and caught him with one of his own. Jake now firing up on, on Crunch. 
Jake's got to turn this momentum around here, if at all possible. He's got him down, down. He's going to wail on him. It's street fight rules. Jake now, chin lock. He's got crunch and a reverse chin lock now. And pulling that arm back. Now he's laying him in there. That's what he's got to do. Just continue to beat him with a series of shots. Got to cover. Two count on that one. Jake stay. Oh, crunch went back to the eyes. Crunch caught him again with the eye, thumb to the eye probably. He definitely stuck a finger in his eyes and caught him right there, hard forearm blow right across the back. Crunch now turning things around. Sending Jake into the buckle and comes across. Oh, the crunch missed. Jake now, oh, he dropped him with that one shot. Jake now picking his spot here. Now laying him in on Crunch. Jake back into the corner here. Oh, big boot right to the midsection. And lo and behold, look who wanders out of the ringside, but none other than the other half of the Death Riders. Chick White has now made his presence known at ringside. Chick now climbing right up on the apron, not even trying to stay out of it. But oh, wait a minute. Look who else has showed up now. Bo James has come in. He just caught Chick right there. Oh, but Bo! Bo hit Jake by mistake! Bo was rearing back to hit Jake and he caught Jake! DDT! This can do it right here and it's gonna... Oh, man! What a... Oh! Chick! And gentlemen, your winner is still certified champion, equalizer, Crunch! Equalizer Crunch keeps his title. Bo James caught Jake Booth with the back of his elbow when he drew back to punch Chick White. And that's what stunned Jake. What a match up though, what a match. Okay, in my last commercial, I said that I could make a jingle about it. Don't leave the room and we're filming. And you probably didn't think that I had an accordion, but I do. So I wanted to make a theme song for Southern States Wrestling. That'll be the jingle. The jingle is the theme song for Southern States Wrestling. We're going to make it right now. This is accordion. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Attention Mountain Empire. Do you have a business, website, products, or an event to promote? Let us help you reach the masses with TV and internet ads. For just a few dollars a week, we offer commercial spots on Southern States Wrestling, reaching over 150,000 homes in the Mountain Empire and the world with YouTube. Don't wait. Jump on this opportunity now to reach a large audience for an affordable price. Email sswking at aol.com for all the info advertising packages you cannot afford to pass up. Hello everyone, this is your friend Misty James. And I'm inviting you to come out Tuesday, December 23rd at the Farmer's Market in Kingsport, Tennessee to celebrate my birthday and Southern States Wrestling Christmas Star Wars. Please bring a canned food item for the local food banks. That's Tuesday night, December 23rd, bell time 7.30 in a well-heated farmer's market. And I will see you ringside. This week, Christmas, I know I've got a rough night ahead of me. I'm going to be in the ring with two guys who've done it all. And if I could just beat them one time, one time is all it's going to take to skyrocket my wrestling career. If I could walk out of there that night with a television title, then I know I'll be able to prove to Bo James, I'll be able to prove to Scott Sterling that I am eligible to be here. And Bo James, as much as I hate to say it, I'm ready. 
And Scott Sterling, like I've said it before, I'm ready. Christmas time coming 110%, and I hope you are as well. Christmas in Kingsport. Scott Sterling crawls back in the ring one more time to prove himself. This time they've stacked the odds against Scott Sterling. He's taken on the whole James family. But it doesn't matter. Everybody knows that Scott Sterling is a champion. Everybody knows that he rises to the occasion. And from recent events, I don't know that I have anything to worry about. Seems like there may be dissension in the James family. That doesn't matter if I take on one, if I take on all. Scott Sterling's a champion. Scott Sterling's going to stay the champion. Chris Kingsport. Kingsport is getting your gift that night. Scott Sterling back in the ring. Scott Sterling defending his title, putting the end to the Bo James family. Kingsport, Tennessee at the Farmer's Market. TV title is going to be on the line. Jake Booth, Bo James, Scott Sterling will be the combatants. Bo James, I've gotten a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails have come in to Southern States Wrestling in regard to your attitude and, and, and the way you've been treating Jake in regard to this matchup coming up on Christmas night. There seems to be a change in you, Bo. I want to get your thoughts there, here. There's no change in me. I'm just, I have come out here the last few weeks and I've stated some facts. Now, Jake Booth is a talented athlete, played ball, played baseball, played football. We, he's been in the wrestling ring all of his life. Before he could ever walk, we used to set him in the ring and he would crawl around him and his brother and his cousins and they would get in there. Jake knows holds and he knows how to fight and he's learned his way pretty good in this profession. But if he was not my nephew, he wouldn't be in the main events. If he was not my nephew, he wouldn't get the television time that he gets. He has to earn something Christmas. And that's something that he cannot be given. He has to earn it. And that is the respect of Scott Sterling and the professional respect of his own uncle, Bo James, standing right here. Jake Booth, you have beat Frank Parker, big upset. You beat Scott Sterling, big upset. You've beat the Death Riders, big upset. But as you saw earlier in this program, I had to come help him and bail him out because he wasn't prepared for both Death Riders and he messed it up himself. You saw right here on television, he got a win over a guy from New York a few weeks ago. So he thinks he's ready for Christmas. And I have to tell you this, Jake, I hope you are ready. But I don't want to hear anything from my sisters or my wife or my family crying and singing the blues if I have to slap Jake right in the mouth Christmas. I have had the hardest year of my life coming back from back surgery, coming back from over the odds. Everybody counted me out and said I was done. Scott Sterling, you caused that along with Frank Parker. I came after you to Thanksgiving extravaganza and I pinned him right in the middle of the ring. But I was about 30 seconds too late in getting that television title. Now Jake Booth, you think you can beat Scott Sterling? You think you can beat me in one night? You're going to have to prove not only to us, but everybody watching this program. Scott Sterling, let's not forget about you because you're a competent champion. You are the number one man on the television right now, right behind the Southern States heavyweight champion, DeAndre Jackson. That television title puts you number one, number one contender. Christmas, I'm going to walk out of there, the number one contender. Christmas. Scott Sterling, I hope to end this situation between ourselves that's been going on for two decades. Christmas, Jake Booth, you better come with everything you got to show everybody that you can back up what you say. Because I've come on TV and I have backed it up. Should I go down the list? Edge. Christian, Rock and Roll Express, Fantastics, Mongolian Stomper, Ivan Koloff, The Stud Stable, and I could list them for a long time. Kid, you're going to make a reputation in one night that took me and Scott Sterling 25 years to make if you can beat both of us. I don't think you can. Scott Sterling, I don't think you can beat me. Joe Wheeler, you better put all the money you got in your pocket on Bo James because Christmas, I'm leaving the television champion. There you have it, wrestling fans. Don't you dare miss this.